Most of you have probably heard about the term hacking before. We usually associate this word with attacks on computer software that steal some people's money, personal data, or even corrupt some important files. Over the last few years, however, it has become apparent that there's another way to hack a computing system, by exploiting its hardware. And by hardware, I mean the way the digital circuit inside your device's chips are designed. Nowadays, most embedded systems, like your phones, and tablets, but also computers in cars, planes, etc., have systems and chips, or SOCs, as the brains of their operation. SOCs are complex integrated circuits which function as a desktop computer's motherboard would. They contain processors, RAM, storage, and various other hardware that is necessary for proper functioning of the system, all bundled into a single chip. Now, imagine you want to design such an SOC for a mobile phone, for example. Your SOC would need a processor, an encryption engine, a camera controller, a neural network accelerator, and a bunch of other hard hardware. You could try to design those yourself, but a more affordable solution would be buying these hardware component designs from companies that already made them, and then integrating them into your overall SOC design. In fact, this is how things are usually done in the industry. And there's nothing wrong with that, provided that you can trust the vendors of these designs to deliver what they promise. Now suppose that one such vendor has bad intentions and provides you with a hardware component which does what it's supposed to do, but also contains extra circuitry that can send unwanted signals to other parts of your chip. If you aren't careful with how you build your chip's internal communication structures, these unwanted signals could trick the rest of your chip and disrupt security critical processes running on it, or even change your data that is stored there. These integrity violations are a serious threat, and most SOCs have built-in protection sort of checkpoints that are supposed to prevent them from happening. Designing this protection, however, is very tricky. Make it too loose and there might be security vulnerabilities that you've missed. Make it too conservative and you end up with a chip that is too slow to be usable. Somewhere in the middle of these two is the perfect spot, but it's hard to find it. The goal of my PhD thesis is to develop a tool that can find all integrity vulnerabilities of an SOC stemming from third-party untrusted components. By analyzing the SOC design, the tool can come up with an attack and show the designer how precisely the attack works. With this information, the designer can fix the weakness with minimum impact on the chip performance and can then use the tool to verify that their design fix works. The tool itself uses formal verification, which is a mathematical way of proving a circuit design fulfills certain criteria. I am trying to specify these criteria in such a way that security can be guaranteed for a given design. I believe that such security guarantees for our computer devices will be of paramount importance in the future.